My name is Chris Dorsey. Uh, it's C H R I S D O R S E Y. Um, running for sheriff in the city of Richmond. Uh, wanted to inform the public about something called Occupy Bilderberg. Uh, that's significant because uh, um, myself and one of the people filming this were uh, founding members of the Occupy Richmond movement, and uh, um, we wanted to, uh, uh, or I was, I'm speaking for myself, I wanted to inform the public that the meeting of the one-tenth of one percent, the meeting of the people who really control the governments, the federal government, the state government, and the city government, they're going to be meeting in Chantilly, Virginia, as part of something called the Bilderberg Group. Uh, now, the Bilderberg Group is a collection of billionaires that control finance, they control military, and they control industry, and they also control the media. So these are the people that are in control of the United States government and the European Union and, you know, all other governments that that operate under a central banking system that's controlled by the Federal Reserve Bank. Um, so, again, to reiterate, probably the key points is Bild the Bilderberg Group is meeting in Chantilly, Virginia. The Bilderberg Group is a gathering of billionaires that control finance, military, industry, and media. They control every aspect of the institutions that control the U.S. government and control the governments of the world. This is a serious subject, and if people are going to occupy any space at any time, the time to do it is in Chantilly, Virginia, at the meeting of the Bilderberg Group. The Bilderberg Group are the people who control the institutions that run the United States government. And they are guilty of treason. The international visitors and members of the Bilderberg Group, they are guilty of many international violations. These are the people that fund all sides of all military conflicts. They control the pharmaceutical industry, the banking industry, the military industry, and the media industry. These are the people that control the world government, not their puppets, not Barack Obama, or not Bob McDonald, or not Dwight Jones. It is the people who attend the Bilderberg meeting. They are the ones that are in control of our governments. They are the ones that trick us into going to war based on events that they themselves carry out. They are the ones that spread famine and disease. They are the ones that mire us in debt slavery, not the government. The government is their tool. These are the people. These are the people that need to be arrested for treason against the United States government. The members of the Bilderberg Group. People can question all sorts of things about what I'm saying. They can say that they don't like my hair or they don't like my beard, but people cannot argue with the fact that the billionaires that attend the Bilderberg Group meeting are the people pulling the strings on the U.S. government and that they are guilty of treason. And the international attendees are guilty of countless war crimes, countless planetary destruction, countless deaths. And they make countless trillions in doing so. Um, they create money out of thin air and then charge the government citizens' interest while allowing them to have absolutely no say in what's going on. Now, all these things I'm describing, this is what the people in the Bilderberg Group do. That is their modus operandi. They control government, and there are recognizable names that aren't part of a conspiracy, like David Rockefeller Jr., like Henry Kissinger, a.k.a. Heinz Kissinger, like Richard Pearl, the architect of the false Iraq war project, the, per the people who have dual citizenship with the United States and multiple other countries, 
the people who are doing the bidding of a, you know, royalty in Great Britain. You know, here's one thing I'd like to say on camera. If, if in fact, these people, this royal family in Great Britain have no significance, then why do people pay taxes to them? And why aren't they deposed? Anyhow, that, that's a, an aside that has nothing to do with, with what we're saying, but there are people that will be attending that meeting that, that pledge allegiance to the Queen of England. Anyways, that is, you know, amongst other things, uh, about, you know, mainly uh, what I would also like to address is attendance by members of the United States Defense Department especially after the director of the United States Defense Department, Leon Panetta, Leon Panetta stated that it was not the United States Congress that gets to decide what the United States military does. It's international organizations like the United Nations or NATO. Now this treasonous statement was said in front of a Senate subcommittee hearing. And this is the director of the Department of Defense, Leon Panetta, former head of the Central Intelligence Agency. Um, so what I'm saying is, at this point, is statements of treason are being made officially by members of the Department of Defense stating to members of the United States Senate that it is not the United States Congress who decides what the United States military does. It's international organizations like NATO. The people who control NATO will be at the Bilderberg meeting. That's that's basically I can I can tie it up. Anybody want any other way to like tie it up? I mean, it's it's basically saying that the law of the land, the United States Constitution which controls everything that controls the government, first in clauses one through seven of, in article one, section eight of this document, it gives the people's representative in the republic control of the money. And then that's clauses one through seven. And in the next clauses or the following clauses, it gives the enforcement arm of the government, that the United States military, the Article 1, Section 8 gives the control of the United States military, which is what controls and enforces the will of the financial arm of the U.S. government, that is given to the Congress. That duty and authority is given to the Congress. What is, is clear now and evident through actions and through testimony in front of a United States government subcommittee hearing front of the United States Senate, controllers of the United States military are saying that no longer does the Constitution apply and that international organizations are controlling the enforcement arm of the United States government. People are telling you officially on camera that the United States Constitution does not apply anymore. I'm not going to stand by while this happens. Other people may, but I'm not going to do it. The people who are committing treason and ripping apart the Constitution, they will be at the Bilderberg meeting. The people who control the foreignly, foreign, excuse me, foreign owned central bank that we see behind us, the Federal Reserve Bank, the owners, they will be at the Bilderberg meeting. The people who control every aspect of the government. They will be at the Bilderberg meeting. They're committing treason against the United States Constitution in ways that I've laid out the only way that I can. They seem very, very obvious. So what I'm saying is we need to do something. I'm running for sheriff. I'm a member of the Democratic Party and I'm calling for the arrest of the leaders of the institutions that control the United States government for violations of Article 3, Section 3 of the U.S. Constitution, which is the part of the Constitution which touches on treason, which has clearly been committed by the people who control the Federal Reserve Bank and will be at the Bilderberg meeting.
that's that's all I got. You mind if I have a quick little like one on one? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That'd be great, man. Throw this in your pocket. Okay. Okay. Hey, thanks, Tony. All right. Oh, thank you, brother. We're it. Yep. That'll work right there. Thanks, bro. Well, you can just look at me, you know, don't worry about the camera and all that. Over your right shoulder. Yeah, I, well, I'm going to step aside okay. in a second. Uh, Stan, spell your name real fast. I don't know who you are, but the producer might not. Yeah, uh, um, it's uh, C-H-R-I-S-D-O-R-S-E-Y. Chris hey, Dorsey. Chris Dorsey, right. All right, Chris, so tell me, um, this Bilderberg Conference, who are the people that are playing the factory? I mean, who are these people? I mean, you mentioned... A that they control these, you know, these massive structures within government, but, but who are they? Well, I mean, there are people like Henry Kissinger, former Secretary of State, uh, head of something called the Kissinger Group, uh, um, you know, is kind of a string puller amongst governments. Um, uh, David Rockefeller, you know, of the Rockefeller family, bank owners, people who are controlling the banks. Uh, something featured at this year's conference is uh, reported to be um, uh, NSA, there's usually heads of the National Security Agency, Central Intelligence Agency, which, you know, go back and forth with, with banking and, and, and finance, um, but also uh, stakeholders and string pullers in groups like Google and Facebook, uh, allegedly, are going to play a key factor this year. Uh, intelligence sharing, it's all about information gathering uh, for the for the owners of, of the Do banks. Do you feel that with the government kind of glad-handing at a meeting like this with privatized companies like that, that there's going to be major issues in the security that just normal citizens are supposed to have as a, as a basic liberty? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's, it's people who are not constitutionally appointed directing and pulling strings on people who are constitutionally appointed, buying and selling them, or having a revolving door, you know, between these private interests like the Federal Reserve Bank and, you know, the Department of the Treasury or, you know, private interests like AIG, the insurance company for all these central banks and, you know, the Central Intelligence Agency, you know, Google and the Central Intelligence Agency, Facebook and the NSA. I mean, there's just a relationship of these international globalist entities that have completely obliterated the United States Constitution with the exception of possibly the First Amendment, which is the, you know, first guarantee, you know, which is always enforced by the second guarantee, which is the only thing that enforces all the others. So I'm publicly calling for the arrest of these people. Um, I'm running for sheriff. My intention when I become sheriff is to arrest Jeff Lacker, who's head president of the Richmond Federal Reserve Bank. I will arrest him first. Then I'll arrest Eric Cantor and then Tom Farrell, who controls Dominion Power, the leaders of the institutions that control the criminal government in this region. And I'm calling for people to do that all over the world. Well, this conference is more about the, the meeting that's happening, right? I mean, um, right. So let's, let's focus on that. Um, playing devil's advocate, you know, um, what, what do you say if the, the NSA and, and the government agencies are meeting with these privatized companies because they want to kind of feel them out and kind of have an idea, like, you know, because they can't obviously be every place at one time. I would like, I, I'm, that's a very good question, and, and what I would say is that these companies, when, when people think of the NSA and the CIA and the FBI, what I would say the, the best way for people to understand that is not to think of these things, as, or the MI6, or the Mossad, not to think of these things as the intelligence arms of sovereign nations, but they are the intelligence arms of the globalist banking cartels, which are the financer of the military industrial complex and every other industry. So when, when somebody says Facebook, what that says to me is CIA. When somebody says, you know, Google, what that says to me is NASA and NSA. 
and it doesn't just say that to me and there's you know people can go back and research my statements and fact check them but that's basically when all the you know 100 different con questions are asked of these people that run government and people follow the money trail that's where it ends up and what i'm saying is the sovereignty of the united states government is made null and void by the members of the bilderberg group some of them being representatives of the united states government which are committing treason and the others guilty of various and unsundry or sundry however you say that bad war crimes uh banking thefts uh, um, mass propaganda and destruction of the planet um so you know i mean that's you know oh, yeah. i mean yeah. No, 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 definitely. I got all that from your, from your speech. Too, yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. I mean, I hate to do the, you know, but, you know, this is what I said. You got it on camera when, mm -hmm. when I said, you know, it's a small number of People bankers control. controlling the United States government. Yeah, the Again, government the you know, we are getting the information out sometimes through Channel 6 News. When, when there's a tritium leak at an earthquake damaged nuclear power plant on a fault line, mm -hmm. That information was got out to the public by Channel 6 News. So I do give Channel 6 News yeah. some credit. Federal Reserve Bank, September 11th, follow the money. I mean, yeah. the people, if they want to hear it, the truth is getting out to them. If they want, I mean, they can disregard me, but they can't disregard what I'm saying, and soon they won't be able to well, disregard me. You mentioned the First Amendment. Everybody has a voice, and that's what we're here right. to cover. You yep. know? So, Chris, appreciate it, man. Thank you. Have a good Thank one. Thank you, sir. All right. See you guys later. Hey, we will see you later. Chantilly, man, that's Chantilly. that's the place to be. There we go. What, what, what date? I didn't... I'll I'll get in touch. I'll get in touch with the uh, uh, with. I'll send a I'll send a press release out and, okay. and let everybody know what's going on. And thank you. Thanks, man. All right, you, peace. Guys. So, I don't know. Do you have any questions, Silver? I mean, no. I mean, it, it, again, it's like, you know. It's the it's truth. Funny. This is a. That's kind of what I thought was kind of interesting was the turnout, right? It's basically yeah. like me and you, and then two like media guys. Is that right. Channel six and channel eight, or channel six and channel eight. Yeah. So I don't know. It's kind of. Well, and, and then they didn't film your whole thing, you know? They didn't film your whole like. You did presentation. Yeah. So so you filmed them <laughs> filming the whole presentation. Or so not, that's not, why I'm like saying like. No, You've gotten they, the they, truth they did, out there. They didn't film the whole presentation. They were like messing around with other things and stuff. Okay, like well, that, that they were getting background shots. I mean, yeah, I, I so. understand that they're only going to put fifteen to thirty to maximum sixty yeah, seconds. Yeah, but of when, when the is news. the good thing that you're going to say? You know, you never know when that's going to be. You know? But that's why I kept repeating yeah. things and like you know getting things to say that would be good. You know. Well, you know, it's hard to like say everything and then get like five to ten second things to say that are going to be what they want to put on yeah. television. And it's so hard to tell what they're going to pick. But again, you know, I mean, I'm, again, I'm surprised they were here at all. And, I'm not. And they probably, they, they may not even do anything, you know. But you got them filming it. It's <laughs> yeah. saying this is the truth. If, yeah. if it, these guys are probably owned by Bilderberg people, you know. Well, you know, I mean, I sent a press release out where I pretty much said, like, I mean, I thought that it was true. Founding members of Occupy Richmond showed up, you know. But you know, I also <laughs> find it, and and again, I mean, this is good to to put on yeah. put on yeah, camera no, because like it's all background. people know people know knew about this, like. They know what I what I do. They know what I'm going to say. They know that I want other people to say what the truth is. I know other people know what the truth is. This is the group of the meeting where people are going to be. This is the pe you know not the one percent. The one tenth of one percent is what controls everything. So like you know the silence is always deafening when I don't hear responses from people or when people who are going to participate you know local people who you know protest the federal reserve bank when one suspicious you know faction of government wants to call for a particular type of protest and then the others you know when when we're saying hey these people are committing treason and they are you know completely unconstitutional 
And the Constitution, which is the law of the land, which is what these people who don't show up at these things allege to want to uphold sometimes, where are they? I mean, yeah. if we've got something that would... Yeah, where are the Ron Paul people? Don't they want to get rid of the Federal Reserve? <laughs> you know what? I mean, it's a, it's a good question. I mean, it's a good question. I mean, I don't know. That's, that's, they know about, what about it. What about that, that big guy that came up with the shaved head? Counterintelligence operation. Uh -huh. Totally. Uh -huh. Either that or he's like undercover pretending to like be interested in what I'm saying because like if he really understands what, anything that I'm talking about or anything about the truth of what government, you know, this isn't, you're, you're the one, one of the people that most schooled me on how the operation works. I mean, it's, well, it's, 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 you know, out there. It's, it's out there. The, you know, just go Makes follow more the sense money. Than what we're supposed to believe, you know. <laughs> but it's not even like, I mean, there's proof of it. Yeah. Like, yeah, I know. I mean, it's, it's what's going on. It's what's happening. And people hear about it, but yet they still want to go back and say, did you hear what Bill Maher said the other day? He's excellent. Or, you know, like, if we just had a few more, you know, I don't know. I mean, I'm not supposed to badmouth Ron Paul, but if we just had a few more Ron Pauls, or we need to get Ron Paul elected president, or, or if we had a few more Dennis Kucinich's, I mean, I'm saying, man, these people had their fingers on the button. They infect us with cancer-causing viruses. They spray poison chemtrails on us. They make us debt slaves by creating money out of thin air. They shred the sovereignty of the institution that's supposed to have any sort of authority, you know, although the Bill of Rights gives us all the authority, you know, and that is supposed to be like, you know, we just need to like, you know, uh, uh, take over the Democratic Party or like, we need a few more delegates to the Republican convention. Give me a break. I mean, we need to get in control of the jails and we need to get in control of the guns and we need to arrest people like Jeffrey Lacker and David Rockefeller and Nathaniel Rothschild to y'all people out in Great Britain, at, you know, you know, all over the world. We just need to arrest these people like they've arrested, you know, people in the war on drugs or like they've kicked down the doors of innocent people in Iraq and Pakistan or in occupied Palestine and occupied Palestine or in South America or in United States and Canada still today you know I mean no way no sir no more no more the Constitution is the law and if that's the rules and these people swear an oath to uphold the Constitution and this goes for people in the military this goes for people in law enforcement this goes for people in the government and for, I mean just for citizens as a whole because if you don't participate in politics, it doesn't matter. Politics is going to get you anyways. But this is the law of the land, the Constitution, and these people swear an oath, the people who allegedly control our government, swear an oath to uphold the Constitution, but yet they commit treason by being under the control of a private central bank that's controlled by a bank in Switzerland called the Bank for International Settlements. And there are people who own that bank and they will be at the Bilderberg meeting. There are people who control these banks and all the arms that they have, like their intelligence arms and their military arms, and they will be in Chantilly. Or their representatives will be in Chantilly. Because there's always a money trail. And this one ends with a bank, the Federal Reserve Bank, I'm pointing at it, I'm pointing at the bank and saying that is a treasonous institution that controls every aspect of the United States government. It is part of an international ba private banking cartel that historically funds all sides of all conflicts and pulls the strings on all sovereign governments by creating their currency but in if everyone wants to get down to it by cr by creating debt out of thin air and having people compete over leveraging the debt that's created
The Federal Reserve Bank really does nothing but monetize debt. That's what it does. And the people who control those algorithmic computer programs or the counterintelligence operations that, you know, attempt to fool the American people into thinking that the President of the United States and Congress is in control, they control all the financial transactions around the world. They run the international drug trade. They run the international mining operations. They run the international military industrial complex. They run the banking institutions, which fund all sides of all conflicts. Follow the money. We know their names. They're frauds. Rockefeller, Rothschild, Warburg. And then just look at the list of the Bilderberg meeting. Come on, people. These people are a joke. Maurice Greenberg, Pete Peterson. You know, we said their names two years ago that these people were guilty of carrying out the 9-11 attacks. And all you had to do was follow the money trail and look at the ridiculous story that they gave to the American people. No more of the bullshit anymore. It's time to wake up, people. Wake up. Your government is your enemy. Your government is not your government anymore. It's an international banking cartel that has military arms like NATO and the United Nations, which controls the US military, which is paid for by US tax dollars, which ignores Article 1, Section 8 of the Constitution, which gives Congress control of any military expenditure or any military action. But Article 1, Section 8 is also violated by the Federal Reserve Bank, which controls every aspect of the United States government in violation of that part of the Constitution. And if you would think about doing the opposite, it would make much more sense. Instead of the American people having no control over their government at all, no control over their what creates their money and what they get paid for, what the value of their dollar is, what their employment rate is, what our employment rate is. The economy. The people should control the economy. Yes! That's what it says in Article 1, Section 8. Yeah. But what's happened? It's been given over to global bankers. <laughs> right! And how long has that struggle been going on? Uh, at least, like, 150 years. <laughs> at least! At least 150 oh, years. Nice. Maybe 400, who knows? Maybe 2,000, <laughs> yeah. maybe 10,000. Look at the Vatican and the Vatican's connection to the Rothschild family. Who owns, who owns the most land, you know, in the world? You know, what institution owns the most land in the world? As far as I know, it's a, you know, a country called the Vatican, you know, which is a sovereign nation inside of another country. How does that work? Oh, and this particular country doesn't pay taxes? Okay, sounds good for that country. You know, but look at the Rothschild connection to the Vatican Bank. Look how far that goes back. You know, I mean, at least, you say at least 150 years. I passed one of those Confederate flag waivers in front of the uh, Confederate chapel. And you know, what I yelled out at him as I was riding by on my bike, hustling down here, I said, the international bankers that leverage that war, they still control our government. And then I said, just to keep you up to date, I could only say a few things a words at a time. And I also want to talk about how I'm, you know, there are other people in this town that are being told this, like through the media, through, uh, through yourself, through other people who are talking to the government. But I saw Shaka Smart walking down Broad Street, again, passed him on his bike, and I said, you get way too much of the state's money. You get way too much of the state's money. And him and his hangers-on, who probably get paid well for being hangers-on, they all started laughing. And I just said, I'm not joking. I mean, it's funny. I can laugh at it now. I laughed at it afterwards, but I wasn't joking. I'm not kidding. I just got, again, on Friday, a media dump from one of Virginia Commonwealth University's lawyers because I've been filing Freedom of Information Act requests about their drone program and they sent me a page of like not really much information I posted that on Facebook which is the only way besides you and you know sometimes I get lucky when other media shows up to disseminate my information they sent me it looks like 
hundreds and hundreds of pages on the drone program at VCU. VCU has a drone program. It seems my investigation shows that it's funded by uh, uh, Northrop Grumman and Lockheed Martin and also the Defense Department, NASA, which is an arm of the Defense Department. So again, they can attempt to keep a lot of these things secret. And I don't know, I, I haven't even opened the zip files. I'm not really even sure how to do that. But uh, uh, I, I wanted hard copies of all of these things. That's the way I, investi I like to investigate and, and do things because I don't understand how to work a computer properly. So, so anyways, again, I have to figure out how to do that. But this is 100 pages of information. And I can tell you, I, can, I know that they're readily giving me this information because they're not even mentioning the other FOIA request I made about human and animal testing being done at Virginia Commonwealth University and in particular done on behalf of Altria and in regards to a secret uh, agreement between Altria and Virginia Commonwealth University that was reported in the Washington Post years ago. I think it was 2006 or 2007, but I could be wrong. It could have been 2008, but uh, um, and they are they are, they are not attempting to send out any information out. They attempted already to not comply with the law. They had to file for an extension. So I'm just keeping everybody up to date on what's going on with that. Zip files, you know, I'm thinking about possibly, and I'll see what you think about it too, because, you know, just to be as open as possible, just even before I examine it, sending the zip files just out. I, I'm not sure. I, you know, I don't know what the best thing to do because there's not really that many people to trust. But, uh, um, anyways, I want the public to know that there's an upcoming, you know, basically the military is, you know, carrying out robotic warfare on civilians in foreign countries that, you know, the Central Intelligence Agency acting on behalf of the private central banks have overthrown their governments and are now using US tax dollars to create these things that also, according to congressional laws that have been passed, can be used secretly at any time for any reason against the United States public. I mean, I haven't even mentioned the NDAA. But anyway, the NDAA, they're, they're planning, you know, to have the ability to use these drones not only against innocent people in other countries but against innocent people in this country and what's the difference they're innocent people nonetheless it's our government that's doing it it's our government that's committed treason give me the handcuffs and the guns and i will put the cuffs on these people what else can we do what else can we do what else can we do is there anything else we can do I've always been an advocate of running for office, and you're, you're doing that. I'm, I mean, not, I'm not doing it. I mean, I mean, running for office, but I mean, just I'd like to bring up your your statement at the last city council meeting. You know, it's jumping through hoops, and which you and I both discussed about. You know, because we can get into the minutia of how the, you know, the big institutions work and how the little institutions work, because they work the same way. You know. Everybody hides where their money comes from and the people in the city of Richmond, they'll get, you know, one or two benefactors that are tied into another group that'll drop 25 grand on them. And that's basically their campaign. They'll take other money, but that's basically where it comes from. You know, I mean, these are low level billionaires. You know, when, when we get in control of the government, like we're going to like shift shift things around and I, these people they don't even have to be billionaires to do this they could be multi-millionaires they could be washing somebody else's money through there you think all that three hundred thousand dollars goes into every public housing project and drugs every day and comes out in cash every night you think that the people that control this city government are you know just bathing in that in that money you don't think the people that own the federal reserve bank aren't making that happen you don't think the central intelligence agency is you know overthrowing governments in order to gain control of their illicit drug trade like in afghanistan and colombia and then having the fbi and the atf and the dea you know giving the you know drug cartels guns and money and regulating the whole operation if people think that that's not happening 
then they don't really understand how the operation works. Because the media, even the mainstream media, keeps showing you this time and time again. It keeps showing you the levels of corruption and kickbacks that control the government. They do it in a subtle way, but we're not being subtle. We're saying, or at least I'm saying, these people are crooks to the core. People can say that they don't like my beard or they don't like my hair, but they never want to argue with me about things that, that are true. Like, when, when, when I say that kickbacks run the city government, and I have proof, and I say proof, and Marty Jewell, who's a fraud and a joke, a pretend defender of the people. And Bruce Tyler, tell me that I don't know what I'm talking about, that I'm making erroneous claims when I say that kickbacks run the city government. I call bullshit on you guys. I'm saying bullshit to you. Bullshit. And then I just say simply, Google, and Bruce Tyler gets most uptight about it, and I hold up a sign that says, Google Bruce Tyler conflict of interest. Google, Google Bruce Tyler, the principal of Baskerville, the architecture firm, which gets huge kickbacks from the city. Google Bruce Tyler and conflict of interest. And it will show that he filed for a special use permit on behalf of the agency that he is principal of jumped through all those red tapes, and then had the body that he sits on vote on it and says, oh, I didn't have anything to do with it. I didn't vote on it. I recused myself. Give me a break. It's all crooked and corrupt, and the city government is absolutely not immune to that disease. It's the corruption to the core of the Federal Reserve Bank, and we've called out the people who run that. I don't like to even address people like Bruce Tyler or Marty Jewell or the mayor because I like to address Tom Farrell, excuse me, Jeff Lacker, Jeff Lacker, my bad, bad presentation on my part, but it, it stands, Jeff Lacker, president of the Federal Reserve Bank and his bosses and Tom Farrell of Dominion Power. They're responsible. They're who I'm calling out. We'll find out who the other millionaire, multi-multi-millionaires and billionaires are who are leveraging the most debt in this criminal and treasonous system. We'll find out who the rest of them are. But these people are, I don't know, insane enough to put their names in front of these treasonous and criminal and planetary destroying organizations. And you know, if people think that these people can be, if, if citizens or activists think these people can be negotiated with, they're fooling themselves. They need to be arrested. We have plenty of crimes. Quit being dupes. Stop being stupid. I'm angry that I was stupid for so long. I'm angry that I was a dupe for so long. But I'm not a dupe anymore. Smarter people than myself have been telling me this. Smarter people than myself are telling me it's up to the military and law enforcement to uphold the Constitution. You are starting to become complicit in this treason against the American people, against the United States Constitution law enforcement and military, you are starting to become complicit. Starting. You have been complicit. You are complicit. Stop being complicit. You're becoming enemies of the American people. You are always enemies of the American Constitution. It's time for the Constitution to be restored. It's time for legitimate government to be restored. It's time for the people to get in control of the jails and get in control of the guns and restore the law. Restore the rule of order. I mean, what else can we do? I don't know. No more poison. No more chemical warfare. No more false flag attacks. No more human experimentation. No more chemtrail spraying. No more nuclear arsenal. No more nuclear energy. 
no more nuclear energy that's leaking radioactive material on a fault line that's been damaged by a freaking earthquake. Wake up, people! What? 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 What has to happen? What has to happen? The NRC. I mean, they're a rubber stamp for Dominion Power. Are they? They? They must. They're trying to depopulate us, or at least they're trying to make us sick enough to die, to pay, to pay, pay, pay until you die. Pay for the medicine that makes you sicker until you die. Man, I think you know. There's lots of people that have figured out their scam. No more bullshit. I mean, I'm tired of people pissing on my head and other people's head and telling us it's raining gold. It's bullshit. Your government is lying to you. Your government isn't even what you think your government is. Your government is controlled by private banking cartels that are controlled outside of this country. That's it. Anyway, Occupy Bilderberg. Uh, those are the people that need to be locked up. These are the people who are committing treason. If the police are up there, if the CIA is up there, they're all guilty of treason. Anyone protecting them is guilty of treason. You know, we might want to start doing these citizens arrest things where we start arresting these people and then having the police start getting their hands even more dirty and more complicit in this by illegally freeing these criminals. Oh, I want to say another thing about what goes on in that John Marshall court building. I talked to Bevel Dean after a Democratic committee meeting where I was talking about a case in which Levante Lewis was beaten brutally by three sheriff's deputies, then accused of something he didn't do, which was spit on a police officer after he had been beaten brutally. Pictures are all over the media of this. That the so-called legal counsel for the sheriff's department got him to sign a paper which suspended his constitutional rights and the constitutional uh, um, uh, 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 oath that the sheriff's deputies took and then, you know, recanted on, on uh, the, the inducement to do so, to sign this guy's rights away. This was reported on in the paper. So I was talking to Bevel Dean, the clerk of the court, about this crazy case that I talked to Courtney Thorne Bagland, you know, where I, you know, said something about how this sort of thing happens all the time and that, that uh, uh, police love to make things up after the fact that they've assaulted people and threatened to shoot them. And he's, he said that that never happened. That happened to me. Uh, uh, so I'm not gonna tell him, you know, have some, you know, joker, Courtney Thorne Bagland, tell me that it doesn't happen because it happened to me. And Officer Scott did it. And it's been reported and they refused Freedom of Information Act requests regarding this case. The ACLU knows about it. Anyways, I've been, I was threatened to be shot. So anyways, getting back to this case, I told Bevel Dean that I know about the corruption in his courtroom and that the whole government is corrupt, including and especially his courthouse. And he paused and he said, well, I can't say that I can disagree with you on that one, Chris. I said this to a man named Captain William Smith years ago when he used to follow me around on my way to work at the Happy Corner. And I would tell him the same thing. And again, he would say, I can't say that I disagree with you. So I want to get this on camera as well. Captain William Smith and I, we negotiated the placement of Occupy Richmond at Kanawha Plaza strategically, he and I, with discussions to target the Federal Reserve Bank. Now, what happened from that point forward? You know, I made very public when I knew that the raid was coming beforehand. I made very public that the city government was paying for and controlling the operation along with other law enforcement agencies and their intelligence arms. I provided uh, um, to the media, and Silver, you've seen these as well, receipts showing that the city government paid for every aspect of the occupation of Richmond besides just putting porta potties and extra garbage cans down here, which again was negotiated by the police with the intent. So this is cooperation from the, from the police with the intent of targeting and calling for the arrests of the office holders of the unconstitutional Federal Reserve Bank. 
members of the police department, members of government, and myself, Reba Trammell, Henry Meese, we've had conversations about this. We've had conversations about making operational the plans for the arrest, the, the plans for the arrests and convictions of the people who are committing treason against the United States government. I'm calling for that as well. I've done that several times. We need to start getting together across the country and across the globe and start dismantling the criminal globalist government. We can do it at a local level, each place. And we can do it in this country by simply restoring the law of the land, legitimate law. The law all these people swear an oath, oath to uphold. I don't trust anybody who swears an oath to uphold something and then they use trickery and deception to dismantle the, the document and the idea they swear an oath to uphold. I don't trust people like that. That's not the kind of person I am. That's not the kind of person I think that most human beings are. But that's the kind of people that that the leadership of the institutions that control the government that will be at the Bilderberg meeting, that are sitting on the Council of Foreign Relations, that are stakeholders and stockholders in the Federal Reserve Bank, Dominion Power, Northrop Grumman, Williams and Mullen, I mean, you know, Kissinger and Associates, Kroll Incorporated, AIG, I mean, you can name their arms all day and all night long, but they're banking interests and their money interests, they all come from the same place and they're all in cooperation. You can even say the crown, the incorporated crown in London, which sets commodity prices. That basically, you know, controls a lot of the money on a daily basis or has at least the most influence. Who controls that? You know, who controls the District of Columbia where all these treasonous acts take place? Not the people. We gotta go through, you know, cancer machines to even go in and see these folks, to even go and see these like crimes, uh, 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 you know, firsthand, which I've seen. I've gone into their offices and confronted with them with their crimes on camera with other people. Other people have done this too, but we're saying no more of your fucking bullshit. We're not playing around anymore. The truth is out there. You can't ignore it anymore. Stop it. Stop your crimes. Crawl back under the under the rocks that you came from and beg for forgiveness from the people you have done this to. Like I said, Article 3, Section 3. You know, I will tell you, if, if foreign bloodlines or families started declaring war, which they have on the United States government, like they've done in Iraq or Afghanistan or Colombia or in Japan or in Germany, man, I don't know what to say except for they're guilty of treason and all one has to do is read Article 3, Section 3 to find out what we need to do with people who are guilty of treason. These people are sick, psychopathic murderers. And I'm, you know, we've named, we've named a lot of names. All the people in the government are complicit. You need to start repudiating the actions of the criminal United States government immediately. The operation is in effect right now. We can't sit around any longer. You know, when's the next false flag attack gonna come? How much more BS are they gonna tell us? You know, when's the next pandemic that Fort Detrick is going to uh, uh, unleash on the world? Or Plum Island? Or any of the, you know, or Virginia Commonwealth University? Because they could use their drones to drop, you know, to drop chemical and biological and, and radioactive weaponry on the people, on the people of the globe. Those are my people. I'll tell you, the people who are victims in Afghanistan, they're more my people than the criminals like Jeff Lacker, or Ben Bernanke, or Nathaniel Rothschild, or Michael Greenberg, or Maurice Greenberg. They're my people more than those people. Those aren't my people, those are my enemies. Those are the enemies of the American people. Those are the enemies of the Constitution. Those are the enemies of national sovereignty and everything that, if anything was ever good about America, anything that's good about America, these people want to destroy and are destroyed. So, I mean, that's it, isn't it? Yeah, it's uh, 50 minutes. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> Yeah.
Thank you.